How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. OK, so you're trying to access Japanese content and you're not sure how. All you need to do is use a VPN, a reliable VPN at that with Japanese servers. So I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs. I've narrowed it down to these three. I'll talk about them a little bit later. But let's say I want to, um, well, access a Japanese store or a Japanese website or a Japanese streaming service. Well, all you need to do is get yourself a reliable VPN. You can get yourself a subscription with an exclusive discount using the links in the description down below. Download and install one of these VPNs. Use your credentials to log into the application, whether you're on Mac, iOS, Android, or Windows. In this case, we're on Windows. And as you can tell right here on my IP finder, it says that I am in France. Use any IP finder to check that you are indeed connected to the right server. Let's just use ExpressVPN to demonstrate. I'll go to locations and all locations, Asia Pacific. And here, as you can tell, we have a few Japanese locations i'll pick shibuya for example and connect to the shibuya server and the moment i'm connected i'll just refresh just to double check and yes i should be connected to, and there we go i am now in japan as far as my internet is concerned and uh, i can access whatever japanese content that i'm trying to access whether it's a bank account a specific website a store um, a streaming service, whatever it is, you will be able to do that using a reliable VPN, of course. But how do you know which one of these could be the best choice for you? Let's talk a little bit about them to help you make the decision. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs, and I've narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch, they're excellent for torrenting, and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. And that's why these are my favorite three. But depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you, and I'll explain why. Starting with ExpressVPN. And this is going to be the best one if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN. And it has the most verified no locks policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries, allowing you to access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account, and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best most reliable vpn is and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest levels of reliability express vpn is my go-to choice for those looking for a premium vpn next up is nord vpn and nord is what i consider to be the best value vpn it has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries and while more servers does not necessarily mean better service this can help with speed and latency especially if you use a vpn for gaming or if you want extra features such as threat protection which blocks ads malware written websites as well as protect your device from harmful files which is a neat little feature and so nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with and that's where the value for the money comes from especially that it's about as fast as express vpn in terms of performance and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription as opposed to express vpn's five device limit so all in all if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your vpn then NordVPN would be the one to get. And then finally, Surfshark is my best pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account. So it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. Also, you still get bonus features such as an ad blocker for for blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're trying to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money, but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a larger family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these VPNs are definitely the best in the business. ExpressVPN is a premium VPN with a 
a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity, and it's perfect for those that are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Now, NordVPN is a well-rounded high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions such as strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you would like, which is a great plus. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn a little bit more about them. And of course, they're all covered by a 30 day money back guarantee in case you're not satisfied for whatever reason. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.